um, community summit, if I can have my slides on, thank you. Um, so we call it the community summit for those who have not been attended the community summit before. It's more like uh, it's a workshop. We've had that at the beginning of uh, the Open World Forum. Uh, and the idea is to uh, put together in the same room uh, practitioners of uh, communities to discuss a specific theme. Uh, each year I give uh, one theme to be, uh, to be covered by the speakers. And uh, so we've had uh, the relationship between communities and commercial companies. We've had, I don't remember what we had last year, uh, but uh, this year the theme we've uh, given our uh, speakers is, uh, as we call it, the, the tools of open source cooperation. Uh, why? It's because we all, our communities, we provide services to our, the developers. And uh, it happens that at OW2 we've been wondering uh, uh, whether, uh, how to evolve our infrastructure and uh, of course when you uh, submit this question to the, uh, the Technology Council, because at OW2 it's uh, uh, a group of people called the Technology Council that decides. So we, um, uh, we had all sorts of uh, questions, uh, I mean it all backfired and they said, oh yes, but do we really need this, do we really need that, etc. And it all uh, bubbled up to the question uh, whether we should actually use or run our own infrastructure or finally, if we could not use the tools that are out there. So it's, uh, I thought it'd be a good thing for us um, the, the, this year. And um, I have uh, invited uh, 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 an incredible list of uh, um, practitioners and luminaries. You have them there with a very strict uh, schedule. Uh, some of them are not here um, uh, because uh, uh, one of them at least is in the room next door and will join us after the break. And another one is, uh, lives in Paris. And of course, uh, we're starting too early, starting at 9 o'clock. It's too early here in Paris for those who live in Paris. So um, this is, uh, and of course, all those people coming from the other side of the, uh, the Atlantic are here. And I really appreciate that over the north of Europe. It really is uh, it's amazing that uh, uh, the further, it's, uh, it's always the same thing. The further you come from, the, the, the more on time you are. Okay, so uh, I have to start with my own presentation just to set the, the ground and uh, uh, tell you where we come from and what we do at OW2. So uh, the idea is that, of course, costs uh, are decreasing. I mean, you know that. I mean, we have uh, a long uh, historical uh, decrease in cost of compute power and uh, storage. But also with cloud computing, the access to compute power and storage has been decreasing and some, so some of the services are available virtually for free. So that uh, uh, triggered a whole bonanza of online services. And uh, we have you, just a list of some of the services that are accessible to uh, communities. And we've had some of our uh, project that did um, take part, that, that was using infrastructure, and some of them have moved. And I remember the uh, first time I heard uh, about Git was one of our projects saying, oh, I'm looking at Git, GitHub, uh, I, think, uh, I think we're going to move to GitHub, uh, do you know about, and they were asking me about GitHub, and I had not heard about it, but that was uh, at the beginning, and of course now I've heard about GitHub. And, um, and all these services are now uh, joking for, uh, in the in our developers' minds, and some of them say, yeah, oh, that is cool, uh, do you know this, why don't you use that, uh, and, and I prefer to use that services or that other services. So this, this has put pressure on us a little bit, and there is Martin Armand here who's a uh, sysadmin, and uh, he has to, to deal and uh, to answer questions and to integrate or to develop scripts to, to connect to some of these things. And, um, and we, we're seriously looking and contemplating the, the idea that we might actually get rid of the infrastructure or not. Uh, Except that uh, there are some cases, and uh, if you've, uh, some of them have used Code Run, uh, I came across this when I, I liked, last wanted to check uh, code, code Run, and that was last week, and I came across this thing. Oh, the past week or so, the entire site was, has been down. So the thing is, these services, uh, if you don't control them, uh, somebody else controls them, and they might not uh, ask uh, for your own opinion before making, uh, some, taking some sort of decisions and uh, changing some of the things. And we know some of them were totally open and community driven, and they've switched to uh, uh, more private and more commercial oriented. So that's, uh, that's the, 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 the environment or the, the context of the, the question we had. Now, uh, the other context is from inside, from OW2, what do we have? 
We, our infrastructure, so our just for the sake of disclosure, this is our infrastructure. You'll know all about everything you wanted to know about OW2 infrastructure is here. We run, uh, we, we offer some services. Uh, our developers are like yours, very demanding, so they want, uh, they want everything. So we have a forge. Uh, we have some tools, developer tools, that we get through a, a, a community license uh, through uh, Atlassian uh, with Nexus. Uh, the websites run on Xwiki. Uh, in Forge and Development Tools, uh, I realized uh, Gitorius is uh, missing from the, from the picture, so we also run our instance of Gitorius. Uh, Squad Tools are the tools we use for our um, um, uh, quality program. SQUAT uh, stands for Software Quality Assurance and Trustworthiness. So we ask our mature project to go through uh, those tools. So now for Sology, Antipedia, and Antipedia Reporter, and there is another one uh, missing, which is uh, open source maturity model thing. And they publish this. Uh, the idea is that uh, the people who want to download the, the project from OW2 uh, can access all the, the data from, this, uh, from these tools, and they know about the, the, the project, the quality of the project, and the status of the project with regard to these tools. So that's something we do to help uh, the, the downloaders. And, and we also have um, uh, a cloud test bed because, of course, uh, many of our projects now are moving to tools. So we off offer them a, a, a small platform to uh, cloudify or to test or to run demonstrations uh, on cloud and to interconnect with other uh, cloud uh, structures, etc. And user management, uh, open LDAP, and uh, we have the ma mailing list, uh, yes, which is here. So that's the, 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 um, um, the applications. Now, in terms of uh, uh, compute uh, power, we have uh, a number of servers. Uh, not too many, actually, but uh, I mean, some of them are they're getting bigger and bigger uh, each time. So, uh, they, are run, they are outside, they're hosted uh, by an outside company uh, that uh, monitored 24 by 7. And Martin uh, does, uh, in fact, uh, we have our webmaster that does, in fact, more the front end and runs the application and the interface with the, with the users, whereas the hosting company uh, uh, ensures the availability of, this, of the, 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 the platform, the operating systems, and, and the net network. So we, we, that's uh, the way we, we put it. Uh, and we also have, an outs uh, we have also also somewhere else uh, the download architecture with servers and net access to networks where it's uh, in a place where it's cheaper and in France it's uh, at OVH. And we also have a partner on, um, uh, called Ecula, who's a hoster uh, offering us a uh, cloud stack uh, inf infrastructure where we can offload some, uh, some, some workload. So that's uh, how we run this. But as you can figure out, that has some, some cost. And I can say that uh, the cost of running the infrastructure represents something like uh, uh, between 5 and 10% of our uh, overall budget. In terms of volumes, you have some of these volumes. For some of them, uh, so we have uh, 2,000 uh, 2, members' accounts, but on the Forge, some contributors are not members and uh, they, are, they access the Forge, so we have 2,300 uh, active uh, uh, users on the Forge and, uh, and 450 Gitorious user accounts. And then we run, we have registered some 250 projects. Not all of them are active, of course. Uh, and uh, I would say that uh, probably 60, 60 of them uh, uh, represent the bulk of, uh, of the volumes. Uh, the situation, uh, so, so there are evolutions in, pro in, um, uh, in progress, so we, we think in discussion. The, the first one is that we want, GForge is our strange uh, tr forge, it's an old uh, thing that is not supported anymore by a community, so we might move to Tulip, which is uh, the sequel to GForge and, uh, to GForge and uh, who's uh, actually supported. Uh, we need to, uh, and basically want to, in, uh, to in install a single sign-on, because at the moment, may, even if they have the same login, they have to, to, to log several times. And, uh, and we have to merge the uh, the uh, um, the uh, oh, help me directories. directories. Thank you. Um, and then s maybe we may we may we also looking at replacing uh, uh, some of these these tools. Uh, the the Atlassian tools are not open source, so we are looking for uh, uh, open source equivalents. And uh, and there is a, a strong interest for for Jenkins. Uh, so that's the evolution. So it's not it's. Both, it's, it can be a big one and a small, it's, it's not just a trivial infrastructure, it's just one server, but it's not a huge infrastructure either. Um, uh, I'm going to skip this, so that's uh, the current and that's the future, thanks to our uh, <laughs> sysadmin who uh, understands every, all this there. And now, because we had to make a decision, we did poll the community. So we polled our uh, project leaders 
and ask them, uh, we run the survey and ask them some questions. And, the, and some of the questions, um, so we had like 10, 10 questions. We received some 20 answers. I wish we had more, but uh, here we are. So the first question, some of the questions we asked was, should a community actually run its own infrastructure? So what's interesting here is that uh, like two thirds said, yes, you should have something. And the, the no, the definite no answer to this question had zero, there are, nobody said, no, we should not have a, a, any kind of infrastructure. So where, where the discussion is, is um, not necessary, we could rent some resources, or some people say, well, you should do this or that. So yeah, there is a good third of uh, respondents that said, hmm, it's, um, it's, it's debatable what you really want to do. So it's, we have to consider th what they, um, uh, the thinking. Um, and, and like almost two thirds said uh, yes, but you should concentrate on, on some of the more strategic or critical, uh, cr critical tools. So in fact, the approach is uh, selective. So they're not saying, oh, we should all be uh, control everything 100%. It's, uh, very, it's quite flexible, I would say. And some of the critical tools are listed here, and you can have the slides if you like uh, later. So you can you see and places like um, uh, the, the the mailing list it's uh, absolutely critical. Uh, the, uh, the, the the release uh, control is also uh, something that uh, they want, but they also want to have access to external tools to which uh, to where where we should integrate. So that's the message we're getting. Now another uh, question was: uh, Do you agree? with the following statements, so we gave them an, uh, s uh, some f uh, statements, uh, the statement uh, pointing to a certain number of uh, tools. So we must provide this feature or this, uh, this service, either uh, with current or existing tools or another. So those, you can see the top, top uh, like the top eight, uh, we need the forge, we need the, the, the website, the one website. Uh, download statistics, of course, bug tracker. Uh, the funny thing is the news forge is there, but I can say that only five, a handful of uh, projects actually use this feature. So this is, uh, this is quite surprising. Uh, Newsforge, it means the, on the Forge, when you publish some, anything, a release or whatever, you have to, to post a little news on the Forge that we can take. And then we, ta we take this in, into the, in the newsletter. So I know this is, this is what you see in the newsletters, the news about the project, they're drawn from the Newsforge. But we know that, on, they don't, they don't use it. Uh, and if you, if you, you see, this is uh, the one they, they want more. I don't know. This is some of the, uh, this an interesting result. Of course, the result, the mailing list and SVN. Uh, Gitorios is only there. And so what we're, what's surprisingly, the uh, OW2 uh, stack, uh, I mean the cloud infrastructure is not so much uh, of a requirement, but of course, uh, if your project is not uh, a cloud project, maybe you don't, uh, you're not so interested in that. So maybe that's what it reflects. And, and then, so the last, la that's my last slide. Um, what we had, uh, uh, I said, do you agree with these, uh, uh, these statements? So visibility is key for my project. So you had the strongly agree uh, to strongly disagree. Uh, what I think is uh, most important here, you can see is that the integration between the tools is something we, that uh, they really require. I mean, this is why you have integrated uh, development environment that exists, and it's because um, that's, that's what they like. So this is uh, the picture. Another thing um, that I was interested, um, yeah, we were thinking, uh, I, don't want, I don't want anything. So in fact, it's consistent with some of the other uh, uh, answers in the, in the rest of the questionnaire, meaning, so the lesson we, we got from that is that we should, we must continue offering something and because uh, they, the community expect that. So now the philosophical question is whether, um, uh, why we have to do that? And we were thinking that uh, somehow the infrastructure it represents the, it's kind of the essence, the identity of uh, of the, the community and, and we can't just be a hollow community with uh, 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 relying on nothing. We, we know you have the fabless uh, component manufacturers, but I think we can't be an um, infrastructure-less uh, community. So we, that's, uh, that was the key lesson that we need to, we need to do and, uh, and maybe offer some, um, some flexibility. So I don't know, that's, that's all for me. 
uh, this morning. I uh, don't know whether that uh, triggers some remarks or, uh, or questions, or if you have some advice for us, because as you can see, we are in the middle of a uh, uh, decision process. It's what you said is, is uh, I, I took it, you know, in, in, in running, but what you're saying is extraordinarily interesting. Uh, it might seem to be, you know, very logistical, like, you know, why are we avoiding debating whether they should have two servers or why you get to have two But in the end, it's not just about accommodating developers, it's also about thinking about well, how we plan on these things and we at the doctor of relation, uh, I'll discuss that later, but we have already have an increase, can an increase in the budgetary resources we're giving to this to our infrastructure. And it's I mean it's it's what you're laying out is very interesting. It seems mm -hmm. that you're going very, very much deeper than many people. Mm -hmm. And how you because you actually create uh, high level specs to all this and it's not necessarily driven by impulse or LL. Uh, you know, all of a sudden, some somebody shouts, "We need this!" Mm. And yeah, there's some good chances they're going to get it because it seems that it's going to be very urgent. So you do it. Um, but here, you're you know you were telling us about the the, the news forge mechanism and and everything is actually uh, thought and designed kind of like in advance, if I'm not mistaken. Well, it's something we monitor and okay. we have we 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 have to cover this anyway. Okay. And and we know, I mean, because we have we have this small team and we work for our community. So we say our customers are the developers. Yeah. So when when somebody sends a mail and saying this doesn't work or uh, or it sucks or you need to upgrade the to the next version, uh, we do it because otherwise, well, that's the reason. That's what they we pay for. <laughs> In a way, yes, Carson. I I find your their survey results really interesting and very similar to what my experience is that. Um, in uh, free software, people have a lot of the same ideas, but their priorities are in a different order. Sort of like to some people, it matters that, that a road is free to use, and some people say, I'll, I'll pay a little fee just so that I can get there faster, or something like that. And um, it, so it's a cultural issue that we have to deal with. Everyone, it has to matter to everybody uh, to, to have it be, to have it be a, a, an open pla platform in, in all cases. And, and I'm not even sure it's possible to convince everybody, but there's just, you know, because it, it also has to be easy and they, they have to feel like the pragmatic solution includes doing, you know, using this as opposed to just going using GitHub or whatever is the easy one where everybody is all social already. Um, it's, mm. it's, a, it's an interesting, um, it's an interesting problem. I don't really know that we can. Mm. Uh, the, there's there's one thing for us that is very important. Better. In any case, it has to be free. Projects that are accepted on the code base will never pay for anything. So that's a has to be a given. So whatever, and some of them are very greedy. So we, we maybe we have to discuss and see how we can we can uh, they can reduce. I remember so, so a project who was using uh, I mean so much uh, with inter uh, continuous integration, which is a very greedy application, and that that was uh, very difficult to to manage. But in any case, it has to be free. Well, the, and the other is it has to be really good because those people who prioritize quality over everything being open source are going to be ones who are going to say, oh, I'll just go use this better tool. It, there's this no cost better tool. That, that it has everywhere everyone is. And I can tell you it hurts. I know. When <laughs> I mean, it's not your fault. You didn't, you know, somebody, somebody wrote GitHub, you didn't write, you didn't write GForge, right? You're just doing what you can with it, but, uh -huh. yeah. Yes? I just wanted to say that I think that it's always, this kind of survey is always very interesting because, like you said, you ask them, do they, do they want this? And they say, yes. And sometimes when you, by asking the question, they go, oh, that might not be too bad. I'll take that, I'll take that. <laughs> and so you end up, you mean li leading, leading, it. leading the witness? Yes. Yeah. So this is rather, rather normal. And also the other thing you have to take into account is when you offer, you know, the idea of the community to offer new stuff that you think that you see that you think that might be useful to the community. So when you you test for your cloud, people kind of go, don't see it. But in fact, you're in a bit uh, on a monster path. So you're uh, like trying to lead them, push them to new tools, but they don't see the need mm. yet. But in 10 years or in four years or two yeah, years. Yeah, they might they need some, yeah. yeah. But so it's kind of a... a well, actually, all, all the but all the services that were listed there are services that are actually r currently running. Yes. So we just, we, we were not, 
asking what other services are you suggesting or would you like to have? Yes, not, we we're not there yet. You don't ask them to prioritize at all. So if you ask them, what are the top most important services that you absolutely must have, you would get a much different... I mean, you reckon? this kind of survey in, inside India and you know, all I got like was, you know, forge, 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 they all, SPN or get, 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 mm. that's the only thing that they want, even if you give them more. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Well, thank you very much.